Bismillah. How do we change the world around us? When we're talking about the ideas or concepts relating to a renaissance, we look back at history and we see that the first renaissance had some specific changes in the environment that led to the renaissance that was experienced in Europe. Humanism, for example, the idea that people at that time started to realize that God, or the concept of God, was one that they could explore and discover on their own, and that there wasn't any intermediary between them and the Lord. That they didn't need a priest or a pastor or a church to get them to express their beliefs and their feelings about the world around them. This led to the humanism theory or environment that sparked or was a catalyst for the Renaissance generation. Muslims in America are starting to experience that. When we talk about the concepts of Renaissance and the communication that is needed, the catastrophic events such as 9-11, and the bringing out of new ideas and change, we see that the same concepts that humanism talks about in the early Renaissance are now being experienced by Muslims, especially in the West, that are starting to realize that their understanding of their religion and God is by discovering knowledge on their own. It's not controlled by a certain clergy member or church or organized religion. And we're seeing in society how the concepts of quote-unquote organized religions are starting to be spoken against and people are starting to change the way they view religion from a personal point of view. But when we talk about the stages of a renaissance, we say after the great catastrophe of a society comes the advent of new thinkers and new ideas, new thoughts, new expressions. How do we get that to happen? How do you become an agent? <laughs> now, I'm not talking about a secret agent. I'm not talking about an FBI agent. I'm talking about change agents. How do you become a change agent? And what do we mean when we're talking about change agents? Meaning, in our modern day, we're, we hear the term change agents and social entrepreneurs and people who are fixing the world around them. Well, the ideas of the Renaissance were somewhat built around those concepts that people were starting to realize that they could change the world around them by changing themselves and affecting what would be the butterfly effect or the ripple effect of society. So how do you make those kinds of changes? Of course, you have to be someone who can express your views and communicate your ideas to be able to be a change agent. You have to be able to bring out new ideas and new concepts. But a lot of times people are somewhat averse to different kinds of adjustments. And, and people have a tendency to fear change. As Mark Twain, the great author, wrote, I'm all for progress. It's change I don't like. <laughs> See, people are willing to accept that we should progress and we should advance our society, but to actually change is something hard to do. So how do we get people to accept messages and understanding and new ideas? And how do we foster that? How do you become a change agent? Well, you have to have leadership capability and you have to have communication abilities. You have to be able to express yourself and lead. And as the saying goes, you have to lead by example. And when I say lead by example, what do I mean? Well, a lot of times when we talk about changing the world around us, there are people who come up with theories and ideas and talk about different things, but there's this tendency with people to talk about things, but to do very little. Ready, aim. Ready, aim. Ready, aim. But nobody fires. Nobody fires. And the difference between somebody who does and somebody who doesn't can be understood by basic understandings of 
the way we learn things. I mean, even pop culture references of someone as, as obscure or as well known as Yoda. Do or do not. There is no try. You have to keep doing things. You have to be someone who takes action. A change agent is a leader because of the actions they take. They have to have the ability to consistently take action. This is a continuing series on the Renaissance, and if you're interested more on this series and other concepts on how we change the world around us, go to hotconflict.com where we have our blog, videos, audios. Assalamu alaikum. Peace.